हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन स्टैटिक टाइमिंग एनालिसिस इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव इंक्लूडेड सिंपल वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस बाय इंटरव्यू पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड दीज क्वेश्चन विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर एक्सपर्ट्स एज वेल एज फॉर फ्रेशर्स नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग माई टाइम लेट एस गेट स्टार्टेड friends let us start this virtual interview session with a very simple question and the question is what type of violations may come in digital designs and the answer is set up violation and hold violation and your next question is when you say violation what do you mean by violations in the design and the answer is in the given design and under given circumstances for example at what maximum frequency we are operating our design even if one of the flop is not able to meet its setup and hold time requirement this condition will be called as violation now let us move to your next question and the next question is what is the equation for minimum time period and maximum operating frequency of operation for the following circuit and the answer is T minimum will be greater than or equal to T C Q of first flop plus combinational logic path delay plus setup time of the receiving flop, and the maximum frequency of operation will be less than equal to one by T minimum. Friends, in this video, I am not going to dig into the subject that from where these two equations came. For that, I have created a separate video, and I will give its link in the description section as well as in the i bar. You can go through them. Friends, I have another question for you, and the question is: Can we apply the time period of operation equal to calculated t minimum? And the answer is no. We cannot apply the time period of operation equal to the calculated t minimum. And there are few reasons. Let me explain you few of them. the very first and very important reason is there will always be a clock jitter in the clock that will vary our time period so if my time period will vary and i am operating at the edges at t minimum so that means my design will always fail and the second reason is because of fabrication process variations there will always be a difference in the propagation delay of all the flops in the design and the combination logic paths now let us assume that because of process variations this combination logic path delay is increased now in this case my design will not be able to operate at t minimum whatever we have calculated so it is always advisable not to operate at t minimum or f maximum but we should consider some minimum margin now let us move to your next question and your next question is What is the condition for hold violation for the following design? And the answer is T C Q of the throwing flop plus the combination logic path delay should always be greater than equal to hold time of the receiving flop. Friends, this condition is required for proper functionality of the design, and there will be no violation. now if this condition is violated then hold violation will definitely be there in our design now let us try to analyze this equation and this design if the combination logic path delay is more then that means chances of hold violations will be less in the same way if tcq of this throwing flop will be more the chances of hold violation will be less but friends because of time limitations i'm not going to dig into the subject that from where this whole time equation came for that i have created a separate video and i will definitely share its link in the i bar as well as in the description section you can go through it now let us move to our next question and the question is which type of violation does not depend upon frequency of operation and the answer is hold violation friends it is very important fact that you should remember for your lifetime if you are a vlsi engineer that hold violation never depend on the frequency of operation whatever frequency you apply 
hold violation will not depend upon the frequency even it is quite clear in the hold time equation it depends upon the tcq plus tcl nowhere it is dependent upon the t minimum or f maximum in other words we can say that the hold time violation depends upon the architecture of the design delay is inside the designs but not on the maximum frequency of operation and now your next question is if a higher frequency is applied then the calculated max frequency of operation which type of violation may occur and the answer is set up violation because hold violation is not dependent upon the frequency of operation and how this set up violation occurs i have explained this concept in depth in part 1 of the same series of videos you can go through it and the link of that video will be available in the i bar as well as in the description section now let us move to your next question and the question is which type of designs are more prone to hold violations and answer is designs with less combination logic path delay are more prone to hold violation friends those designs having less combination logic path delay are more prone to hold violations so there are few designs having short circuit paths meaning there is no combination logic path delay they are more prone to hold violations and those type of paths must be handled very carefully now let us move to your next question here you have to give me an example of such path where chances of hold violation is quite high and the answer is shift registers and synchronizer flops this is a 4 bit shift register if you see very carefully register to register paths there is no combination logic path delays so their implementation is very critical so that is the reason being in fpgas these shift registers are readily available as a hard coded component now let us have a look at sync flops in cdc in clock domain crossing path their implementation is also very important they should be implemented nearby so that is the reason being in fpj designs these synchronous flip flops are implemented in the same slice and for that we need to constrain our design now let us move to your next question and your next question is which type of designs are more prone to set up violations and the answer is designs with more combination logic path delays are more prone to set up violations it was quite clear from the equation of t minimum and f maximum friends this is totally opposite to hold time violations in hold time violations if combination logic path delay is more the chances of hold violation will be less and in contrast to that if combination logic path delay is more there will be more chances of set up violation now let us move to your next question and your next question is here you have to give me an example of such paths where chances of set up violations are more and the answer is large width counters and high frequency counters friends this is simple implementation of a counter where we use register and an adder output of an adder is going to the input of register and in the same way output of register is going to input of adder now let us have a look at the static timing analysis of this design the minimum time period of operation will be always greater than equal to t setup of this register plus delay of this adder plus tcq delay of this register and f max will be equal to 1 by time period now let us assume an example where i am implementing a 4 bit counter in that case i have to use 4 bit adder now let us say now i want to implement 8 bit counter so in that case i have to use 8 bit adder and delay of this 8 bit adder will always be higher than the delay of 4 bit adder if i am using a ripple carry adder the delay will be doubled and i am using this delay in this equation so as we saw that this added delay will keep on increasing with increase in the width of a counter and this is going to impact our minimum time period of operation so as this added delay will increase the minimum time period of operation will also increase and the maximum operating frequency will keep on decreasing 
So for a very large width counters, for example, a counter having 128 bits, and in case we try to operate that counter at a very high frequency, so the chances of failure will be very high. So the chances of set of violations are very high. Now let us move to your next question, where you have to tell me any technique to solve set of violations. Friends, I'm operating my design at very high frequency where set of violations are occurring. Now you have to tell me any technique to solve these set of violations. Pipelining is very well known technique for resolving set of violations, but it is not applicable on all the designs. Usually pipelining can be implemented on a unidirectional designs where data is flowing from one direction to the other and there is no handshaking. And now let us see your next question. How to resolve problem of large width and high frequency counters? Friends, we saw that these large width counters cannot operate at very high frequency, but we want to operate at very high frequency. Friends, for that you can refer my previous video and I will share its link in the description section as well as in the iBar where I have explained it in depth that how we implement large width counters. Friends, with this I am going to end this session and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And to get the notification of all the upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.